Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is CJ. I was finally able to get my hands on the algae scrubber to fit the JBJ all in one. So I figured I'd give you guys a quick unboxing and installation and give you my first thoughts just in case you're interested in trying this on your own tanks. So the algae scrubber I'm gonna share with you guys is made by Santa Monica Filtrations. Now me personally, I never really knew about this company until I started watching YouTube. Specifically the LA Fish guy, he would always talk about these hang on glass or hog algae scrubbers. So I figured I would check them out. So to my surprise, they actually had some that would fit all in one aquariums, even the JBJ. So I reached out to them and said, hey, could you send me one for a review? They agreed, and here we go. Instructions are pretty straightforward. You know, you just drop it in your aquarium. But what I do like about it is they give you all the tips and tricks and details you need as far as maintenance in your algae scrubber. You know, what to look for, what different things you shouldn't allow, and what things you should clean off. So, you know, it's really informative, so I really appreciate that. Now, I'm not naive to the fact that there's tons of DIY algae scrubber videos out there. You know, it's pretty much all over YouTube, all over the forums. So if you wanted to make this yourself, you could, by all means, you know, grab a box, grab some LEDs, throw it together. Now, for those of you who just want to skip all the trouble, you know, spend a little money, get an algae scrubber that's already put together and ready to go. This would be a good option for you. Now, as far as first impressions to me, you know, the airline tubing is nothing really special to talk about. I guess the good thing would be if something happened to it, it would be simple to replace. So I guess I'll call that a win. But when it comes to the box and the way it's constructed, the way they have it molded, how the LEDs mounted securely, the way they have everything kind of double epoxy and waterproof, really, really well made. So I don't think that's something I can really easily duplicate on my own, at least not without a lot of research and a lot of trouble, especially wiring LEDs and uh, making sure everything's the right way. So they do include everything you need for the most part. You got your power supply, airline tubing, you know, your LEDs, your algae scrubber itself. Only additional piece of equipment you'll have to add is going to be an air pump. Now I did measure the rear compartment for the JBJ and I found that the drop 0.6 algae scrubber fits perfectly and that's great for two reasons. Now the first reason being, you know, I really feel like this is the recommended algae scrubber for my system. Keep in mind, you want to purchase it based off the export needs for your tank, not just the size of your tank or how big it is. So me personally, you know, I'm basing it off my phosphates and my food intake per day in my system. And I feel like, you know, either this or the drop 6X will probably fit my needs perfectly. Now, the second reason for me, and I will say more importantly, I'm trying to see if I wasted money in the hobby. Keep in mind, this algae scrubber is roughly $100. Sounds like a lot, but when I compare that to the cost of my mini reactor, which is roughly $110, and the Fosguard, polyfilter pads, all those medias that have to keep being replaced, it really adds up to be about the same. So if this algae scrubber does what it says, you know, I may have changed my thoughts as far as where money should be spent in this hobby. Now, installation, pretty straightforward, just as the name suggests, it's a drop algae scrubber. You just drop it in, you know, wherever you want in your main display, in your refugium. Of course, you know me, I like to put everything in the back where it's out of sight and it goes right to work. Now, there is two things I want to mention to you guys. When you install this, you can't just drop it to the bottom of the tank and just roll with it. You have to leave a gap or a space to allow water to be drawn into the unit itself. And then you gotta keep in mind the bubbles. They're gonna to escape to top, so if you're concerned with that showing in your tank, it's better to move the unit towards the top of the water just to where it breaks the surface and it stops the bubbles. So as you can tell in the back of my compartment, I did that, no bubbles, nothing going in my tank, everything's good to go. Now I also wanna mention the LEDs to you guys. You know, of course when I seen this unit only had one, I was like, eh, is that gonna work out until I plugged it up? That damn thing is super bright. I have no doubts about that being able to grow algae. You know, of course time will tell, but first impressions are pretty good. Now I will mention that uh, it is really bright and it will escape the unit itself. The holes along the bottom and top do let the light shine through. So if that's gonna be an issue for you, you may wanna plug it or cover it up or make some kind of modification for it. Now the only real concern I have for this, probably gonna be when it comes to maintenance time. You know, of course, just opening the unit, pulling algae out, throwing it away will be fine. But in the event I have to take it to the sink, everything has to come with me. You know, you really can't quick disconnect any of the power or the airline tubing so that'd be a neat feature if they can add that in any future models but other than that you know a bucket by the tank with water a toothbrush will probably be the solution amount that i'm going to use i just want to make sure i mention that for anyone that you know may be thinking about this as far as you know food for thought so for anyone new in the hobby that you know don't know what an algae scrubber is or the reason for it i've kind of skipped all of that at the beginning of this video let's take a second and talk about it now coming from the freshwater world to salt, 
really changed my train of thought. You know, I went from just letting my tank go on autopilot with water changes, never paying attention to it, to starting to really be concerned with importing and exporting, meaning what am I putting in my tank? How much am I feeding? And how am I getting out of my tank? You know, how am I removing those things, those nutrients, those, you know, phosphates, those nitrates, all those things that, you know, grow all the bad algaes, cause you all kinds of issues in your systems. And I'll tell you, it's a struggle. It's a long process trying to find that balance. If you guys follow my channel, you may have never seen my tank this dirty before. Pay attention to the glass around the curve, really algae covered. In the back of my refugium, all kinds of algae growing back there. And that's really letting you know that uh, my tank is still not tuned in yet. I defeated the high algae problem growing on my rock work, but I still have excess nutrients in my tank. And that brings us to the point of me, you know, trying this algae scrubber. Now, some of you are new to my channel. You may not know about my filtration on my tank. Let me cover it really quick. As far as my biomedia, using Seachem's Pond Matrix. Now that helps with, you know, my ammonia and removing my nitrates in my tank. It's not perfect though. It doesn't take care of all of them. It just helps. Now I'm also using poly filter pads. I just started using those in the last month or so. They help absorb, you know, my nitrates and phosphates in my water. And I'm also using a reactor with Phosgar. Now that also is helping with my phosphates in my water. Now beyond that, as far as exporting additional nutrients, I have a skimmer, a Tunzi 9004 skimmer. Does pretty well, but I'm still not at that point yet. So this is where the algae scrubber is gonna come into play. Now if you don't know how drop algae scrubbers work, really simple design. The bubbles create a current, help draw water in from the bottom of the unit, providing that fresh nutrient water for your algae to grow. The LED shines on that one particular part, that white reflective area, helps intensify the light, helps the algae to grow even faster. Once it grows to a certain point and all those nutrients are actually trapped inside of it, you manually remove it from your tank, effectively exporting everything you want out of your system, and that's it. Now the best part about this, it's self-renewing. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just keeps growing. You know, you harvest it every week or so, keep exporting nutrients, no extra money out of pocket. Now it's really similar to a refugium. You know, if, you, if I was to have Cheeto and a light in the tank, you know, I'll peel the back off the JBJ, will be a similar result. So you really, I guess it will be kind of the same either way. But in my opinion, I feel this uh, is gonna be a cleaner option for me, meaning it's self-enclosed in one box. I don't have to worry about any Cheeto escaping and clogging any of my pumps. Don't have to worry about detritus getting trapped in there. If anything happens, I can just simply remove it. You know, no no problem at all. So, you know, I think there's benefits to both. But in my opinion, I'd rather try this for two reasons. One, it's cleaner. Second reason, don't see a lot of people using the algae scrubbers on nano tanks. So, you know, I'm all about trying to document new things in the hobby and trying to give you guys, you know, food for thought. So as far as the immediate future goes, definitely going to get my hands in the tank, get this algae off the glass. Move a few coils around because I'm still not happy with a few things and then get you guys another update. And as far as the algae scrubber goes, I'm gonna give it a week or so to break in and then we're gonna start documenting it. You know, I really wanna keep track of uh, my parameters and how much it's gonna change my nitrates and my phosphates and to see if it improves my tank health overall. So other than that, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this vid. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. You guys do what y'all do. Y'all be easy.